hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to make this gorgeous bag um for the supplies we're going to need um yarn t-shirt yarn this this is what we'll need t-shirt yarn and we need a board we need the board hexagon shape we we'll need this um, rock lamps, our rings, jump rings, four of this, crochet hook size five, and we're going to need chain, um, a chain and scissors. Okay, so we're going to go right ahead. So I'll put this aside and we're going to start with this. So this is a black this is a blackboard and we can just take out the, the paper. I'll just pull out the paper. <laughs> See why I had to take out these nails? I had to take out these nails for this. So and that's it. We have a clean board. We have a very clean board here. Okay, I'm not going to take this out all so that um, the board is going to stay clean. I'll just take it out like this, and we'll start right away. So get your hook and then this. Okay, I'll pull this aside and I'll make a knot, slip knot. And I'm going to crochet. Start here. Okay, so you're just going to make single crochets. One um, single crochet each, and you can still make two if you want it a little bit bigger. But I'm going to do one here, and for this corner, each of the corners, I'm going to do double. I'm going to double these corners. Two single crochet. I'll use my size four hook so that it can go inside easily. Okay, so this will count as our first stitch. This stitch here will count as our first stitch. So we're going to place a stitch marker here. This is the first stitch. Alright, so we just do one single crochet. So this is size 4 hook. It's easier to use, but I'll use size 5 hook. All right, we're just going to continue with one single crochet each. I remember at the corners we are doubling, we are doing double single crochet. So you see the transition now. So it's easier to walk inside here. Okay, so we're just going to work all around. Walk till 
we meet here okay okay so we're doubling this one doubling this one so we'll double this one we're going to double this one too same as we'll double this two this two this two this two okay so we're doubling the two ends all right so we have doubled this one too. Well, this will count as a first stitch, okay? So this one, I'm going to, I'm going to double this. We'll do two here. So I'm going to double these two, these two here, I'm going to double them. So, you see, uh, this one and this one. So, we're just going to walk around, double this one, go double this one, double, and we are here. When we get here, we'll continue, okay? Okay. Okay, so we've reached uh, the end. See, I didn't remove this, but this does not matter. After, we'll just take it out. This one is most important. So this is the end. We've gotten to the end here. We're going to double this and join. This is one. is two and we are going to join here mm -hmm. so to join just take your hook and put here on the second hook pin this one So we're going to create one here. So, so we're just going to walk around, around. Okay, so this will count as a stitch. I'm going to place our stitch marker there. Okay, so we just go ahead and continue. And we are not walking in here. 
this is what we are doing is that you are going in here in between this this line so put it in here you see it's inside this too Well, the first round is not always easy but once you've gotten this part it'll be easier okay this one looks difficult because it seems difficult because of the the board okay so but practice makes perfect so see we just go around and do the same one single crochet on every stitch round until you get here okay slip stitch and so we're going to do a total of five five rounds okay so we'll meet at the fifth round okay so we are the last um row fifth row made fifth, five rows one two three four five okay so this is it we are going to join this one. Look at the stitch mark I'm going. Turn like this. Just bring down. Pull a bit. See? Just pull. Pull. And then pull it off. Tight and then so that's it. You can just uh, slip stitch. <laughs> Three, four, five. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and do this other section, and when we are done, we'll come for the joining, right? So we just go ahead and do this other side and we'll come and do the joining, okay? Okay, so now we are done with um, both sides of the bots. So you have done five lines here. And five five rows each one two three four five so now we're just going to do the borders of the back yeah I'm going to work here I'm not taking this out because I don't want to dirty it so I'm just going to work on this mm. all right so we'll, now we'll take the second color of the yarn which is this one we we'll just sort out the And then working with a size four hook, so I'll just make a knot, slip knot. Okay, I'm just going to set my hook here, and then I'll bring it outside. It's not going to be easy on this part where we double, okay, but just um, struggle. If um, the size 4 hook is very difficult, you can just go in with a size 3 hook, which is smaller, okay? So you're just going to go in and then yarn over and bring out, see? Go in, yarn over, and make a slip stitch. Just slip stitch. So I'm going to do that till the end. And we are done round we do for the other back okay so we're just going to do that and we meet at the end of it okay so i'm done 
I'm done with the joining, uh, with the, I'm done with the seaming. Okay, as you can see, that is neatly done. See how neatly it is. And that is it for the both side. So now we are going to go ahead with the joining of the back of the two sides, okay? So I'm done with um, the boards. I'm done with the seaming. As you can see how neatly it is done. See how neat it is. Okay, so right here we are going to go with joining of the two sides, all right? So this is my back. So when you join, this will be the total, um, when you join, this will be the total size of the back like this, okay? So if you think that this is still small, if you want it a little bit bigger, you can go six um, rounds and six rounds on the other side, okay? So you can do six, six or seven, seven, depends on how big you want your back to be the the inner part of your back to be so right away i'm going to go with the joining all right i'll get um, a yarn i'll just do a slip knot i'll do a slip knot with our yarn and i'm going to mark the part where you want to yeah, so yeah, it's very easy. You just end to end these two ends. So I'm going to put my stitch marker here. You can use a size four hook at this point. You can still use a size five hook. I'm going to use a size five hook. Okay, and then I'll attach my knot. So we we'll just continue. Put here. Insert here. do a slip stitch right go in here in you do a slip stitch okay are you seeing that So you go in here, in here, and do a slip stitch. See how it is joining. So go here and there, do a slip stitch. Here, here, do a slip stitch. Here. Slip stitch like so. So you just keep on doing um, your slip stitch till you reach the end. Right. So I'm the end. I'm at the end of the of the other side. Okay. I'm just going to make slip knot. See. I'm just making knot here. Just do a knot to seal that up. And then I'll take out the stitch markers. Take out stitch markers and I'm just going to go ahead and do slip stitch on the rest of the stitches right up right up to the other side of it, okay? So like this. Slip stitch. Slip stitch slip stitch to follow and continue with the borders we have created here okay to make everything look um uniform all right so just go ahead and slip stitch to the other side okay all right so now that um, we are finished the end of the joining this is it I've arrived, I've well, reached the end of the joining, so um, I'm going to cut out this part, this yarn, the SS yarn. Now, 
I'll just pull this All right a bag needs just a little adjustment see so that is it see we have our bag see how it's well aligned okay so that's our bag part two we are going to do we're going to attach the rings and then we attach the handles of the back we attach the tassel and all the rest okay okay so thank you for watching this video till the end and if this video was helpful to you or it meant a lot to you please kindly click on the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share the video thank you